Well, before we try to get back into the palace, let's do this. Actually save the game. Because I haven't saved in an hour. So, the way to get back into the palace is not as easy as you would think, like last time. They got into a scuffle by making them uh, tell each other that their wives are ugly. And such. Clear off you! Every time you come around you start trouble. Who, oh, me? We just done it once. Could I just ask, go away? So which one of you has the ugly wife? No, we're not falling for that again, you know. Yeah, our friendship is based on deep mutual respect. Really? Good. Well, up to a point. Are you going to let me in? No. Well, like I said, it's not going to be a getting back in here. It's not going to be as easy as it was. Look, haven't you two got anything you'd rather be doing? Well, yes. I suppose I could go home and and arrange some flowers and that. I could go see that psychiatricist bloke. What do you want to go and see him for? No. I told the captain I thought my wife was beautiful and he gave me a chit to go and see the psychiatricist. Yeah, because your wife is a man and we know it's the uncle of that one person. Greetings! I am the mighty wizard Rincewind. A wizard? A real wizard? Yeah, we got a proof of the diploma. <laughs> Not impressed. You can't go in. Why do I keep clicking when he's talking? Well, I'll just move along then, shall I? So, the way to get back in the, into the, the palace is with ink blot. Use it on one of the guards. Just one thing. Hmm? Oh, nothing. No. What? What were you going to say? Well, it's this picture. What do you boys think of it? Oh, very original that. It's a dog's bum with a hat on. No, mate. Look, it's your wife. My wife is not ugly. And there they go again. And here we go inside. Yeah, the ink blots are the way to go back inside. How long have you been here? Your eggs have hatched. And the tax collector is here too. I wonder if he remembers that we threw a tomato on his face. Stout fella. It's a tax collector, all right. Oh, no. Hang on a minute. Rather. It's Nanny Og. And the fool. And the patrician. Still here? That's the trouble with a feudal system, you see. Queuing means very little in the face of a stratified social structure. It's all a matter of social seniority. Seniority? Yeah, next time read the fine print of the social contract, that's what I say. I see your point. Where's the thief? I think he went to the Shades. It's a thief thing. So now we have a reason to go to the Shades because the thief is there? Good. Hello, and you are? Well, I was the tax collector. Now you are... It's... Oh. Oh. They dared to put me in the stocks. Peasants. I'll get them. All of them. Laugh at me, will they? I'll pull their allowable deductions out with my bare hands. Um. Hey, don't I know you? No. Gosh, is that the time? I'm sure I've seen you somewhere before. Have you ever been to the Duchess of Froomesburg's ball? No. Well, we can't have met there, then. Oh, right you are. Whew. Nice one, Rincewind. Nice one. And he definitely was starting to remember of us throwing the tomato at his face. A custard book? What's this thing? Definitive Tome of Custard Compoundment? Hey there, big boy. What's this line in aid of? Vending permits. You need one to sell wares in the city square. Really? Yep. So how'd a nice boy like you get into a mess like this? Hmm. I think I might just go stand over there for a while. Oh, the hat suits you, dearie. Dearie? Oh, dear. So, where have you been all of my life, love? Not born for most of it. Oh, God. <laughs> Gotta love Nanny Og. She's so awkward. So. Anything out here that we might need? Anything else out here that we might need, I should say? Apparently not. 
So what we need to do is to get the uh, jester to go into the uh, bath. Maybe if I tickle him with a feather? That doesn't work. Hmm. Maybe if I pour custard on his face? That doesn't... Maybe if I punch him in the face? I would like to do that. Hello? Hello, it's a visitor. Mr. Pencil! <laughs> Hello! Oh, chucky chucky! This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Yeah, even before it starts. A suspiciously animated jester's staff. Can I actually talk to Chucky? Angel! Chucky bite nasty wizard! Ape! Yeah, better not talk to the, uh... Hmm. I'm sure he has something golden, and I think it's Chucky. Chucky Cheese. But I do know that we need to get him to take a bath. Hmm, maybe if I put the bubble into the bath already. Maybe that'll help. Let's keep track of that. Hmm. Or maybe if I throw an egg at his face. It's a joke after all. Just a little egg in the face. <laughs> that does God damn it. Starch? That does well, can't remember. Fertilizer? That doesn't work. Maybe on Chucky? That doesn't <sighs> well, what's a rusty? Some oil? That do I can't remember. Yeah, I'm thinking I don't have the item that I need. Oh. We are definitely missing an item. Well, let's go. Back to the city. I'll get back to the city. Thank you. I think I missed an item at the uh, square, maybe. Because I do remember we need to dunk something on him. And maybe I missed the item here. I don't see any uh, garbage cans here, or something like that, or a bucket. Yeah, good thing I saved right before using the ink blot, but we still have the other one, so I'm sure we can get back into the palace. <sighs> I need a bucket. That's what I need. A bucket. What's this then? Danger? Explosives? Can we open it? No, we did open it. Crackers? That's dangerous, that is. Someone ought to lock those up in a box. Gunpowder? That's dangerous, that is. Someone ought to lock those up in a box. Well, they are in a crate, but we opened it. Well, let's grab the items. So now we have a keg of uh, gunpowder and some fireworks. Oh, well, that's the way we get rid of the um, freaking chimney sweeper. <laughs> it's pronounced a bouquet. <laughs> the bouquet residence, lady of the house speaking. So I wonder how I will get the bouquet. Oh, hello. The barber is here. Persistent little blighter, isn't he? Oh, hello. She's coming any moment now. Oh, my beloved would never keep me waiting for long. No. Mm, well, good luck. You haven't seen her anywhere about, have you? Possibly. Look, um, I think maybe I'd better go. Okay. So he's here. 
Maybe we can go find her and talk to her to tell him that he's here. And I clicked out the freaking window. I need to do that. Okay, let's go back to the city and tell her that her man of her dreams is waiting for him at the wishing well. I'm sure she will be very appreciative of our help. Or maybe she doesn't really care. She seems like to be a really insane person who really doesn't care. Uh, she's still here. Yeah, Will yeah, you shut up? yeah, yeah, I know. Shut up, sit down. Hello again. Uh, have you seen? Yes. Well, problem. Oh, you don't seem very. Um, thing. You know, a beer. Yes. Oh, yeah. Madam. I guess she's not gonna go and meet him. At all. Well, we don't care. Because we need to get some, <clears throat> some dung. But because I don't have a bucket, maybe I can use a tankard. No, I don't think it will that work. That doesn't. I knew it. We need to get that bucket. I'm sure of it. Well, what, what we be do 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 As I was trying to say, what we can do is actually go to the um. Oh, where was it? Damn it! Now I'm forgetting where I was where I was supposed to find that one item. I do remember, but for some reason I just forgot. Yeah, the fishmonger. That's where I was going. The fishmonger. So let's go to the street. To the streets of Ankh-Morpork. And go visit the fishmonger. And I should have gone from the other side because this is actually the longer way. There he is. An octopus. Hey, actually, this is quite a cute octopus. Well, as far as mollusks go. <laughs> Just grab it. Uh, fine, we'll use... Uh, actually, not the net. We actually need the rope, so to speak. So it doesn't wiggle about. There, now we have an octopus. Hey, actually, this is quite a cute octopus. Well, as far as mollusks go. Well, when you look at it, it's not that bad. Caviar. Ugh. I never liked uh, fish eggs. They're too salty for me. So what we need to do here is to set a trap for our... octopus-loving fishmonger. So we put the octopus in the can. And also, there's always some scribbling graffiti on the uh, doors of uh, booths in the toilets. So let's read it. What's this then? For a nice time, eat well, drink happily, and find an amusing and rewarding occupation on a sunny day. What's this then? For a nice... That doesn't... That's really all it says? Thought it would say more. Huh. Oh well. So we put the octopus there, but that's not enough. We need some custard in there as well. Trust me. This is gonna work. So now that we've done that, let's go back to the fishermonger. And give him a, a reason to go to the toilet. Have some prunes. <laughs> Love the music sting. And <laughs> what were you expecting? Ken sent me? <laughs> 
Prunes work fast on these guys, apparently. That was some. That was a scene that we really didn't need to see. But hey, we got the belt buckle. It's made out of gold. A belt with a golden belt buckle. So that's two out of six. Two down, four to go. Oh yeah. So I guess next one we can do is uh, the uh, chimney sweeper. Because we got the explosives now, so we can blow them up from sweeping the chimney. At least that's what I think we can do. Is the Dunny Man still here? Do you have your bucket with you? No, apparently not. He's just looking all derpy. <laughs> Did I lose the alley? There it is. At least I think the firecrackers and the uh, gum powder are the answer for this. I hope. Could be wrong again, as always. Yep, it was the gum powder. Just blow him out. Need light. Death, what are you doing here? Oh, no thanks, I've already got one. Yeah, we got matches. And a fireplace. This all takes some effort, you know. I'm putting myself out just for you, when there are thousands of other things I could be doing. Do I see any gratitude? I don't think so. Well, you're death. Just hey. stop following me, will you? Yeah. I hope you realize I'm working my fingers to the bone. Your fingers are bone. And besides, what were you doing here? You're not supposed to be with us. Uh, the chimney sweeper is the one you're supposed to collect soon. That doesn't work. Why not? Do we used to need to use the bellows? That doesn't work. It's a highly dangerous yet strangely attractive gunpowder keg. Should make a wicked bang. Then make it bang. Need light. Oh no, thank. This all I'm. Do I just? How do I make it light then? If matches don't work, uh, that doesn't. How about fireworks? Just that it, doesn't work. Put it in that, there. That does. Ah crap. That doesn't. Well, we got a lit firecracker in our luggage now. How do I... Mm. Why won't these damn matches work? What am I doing wrong? I'm so supposed to blow him up. Oh. <laughs> Duh. That doesn't... I'm a doof. That doesn't... That doesn't... That doesn't. Can't I open this? That. Do that. I need to get the oil. That. Do well, at least I need to use the string on the keg. There we go. You think that's enough? Should be enough. And we can see the fuse. Now, in the, uh, there. I lost the matches for a second. And the chimney sweeper will go kaboom! <laughs> and there he is. <laughs> I 
And we got here's uh, golden brush. A golden handle chimney brush. Oh yeah. Three down, three to go. I have had. Got you, you brush wielding chimney cleaning git. Yeah. We got him on good. So, that's three downs, three to go. So the last ones we have is the uh, carpenter type of a guy, the jester, and the thief. Now, how the heck do I get the bucket to throw some dung on the freaking jester? That's the way to do it. I need to get a bucket. A bucket, a bucket, a bucket, a bucket. <laughs> Alright, the university! They have the garbage cans behind! Yeah, there, there, over there. The garbage cans. I thought I had picked up one. Hmm. These ones. What a smell! Ugh. And those flies! The apprentice's luncheon seems to be coming on rather well. I didn't want to look at you. I wanted one of these. There we go. Now we got a garbage can. That's what I was missing. That's what we need to use on the jester. And hopefully I can get back inside the palace. Let's hope. Let's hope for the best. It could be that the guards are still, uh, you know, angry at each other. And they can just let us pass. Well, he lost his shoe now. Clear off you! Every time you come around you start trouble. Oh, me? Please let us through. We got an ink blot. We'll use it on you. I suppose neither of you wants to see. That's right. Oh, wait a minute. See what? Well, I just wondered what you gentlemen might make out of this. It's a chocolate blancmange. No, no, it's it's oddly familiar though. Uh, not a not a hippo, is it? Hmm? Uh, no, 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 not a hippo. Uh, a lard pudding. Or you the other guard's wife? Sue it. I know. It's your wife. <laughs> My wife is not fat. Maybe she's just lovingly chubby. Yeah, we got through. So let's play a joke on our jester friend here. With pleasure. Luggage, if you do the honors. No, Murachak is dirty. Chucky, one bath! One bath! Bleh. Practical criticism always speaks more loudly than words. Definitely. And that kind of criticism is a very... Very... How do you say it? Which is why this is no surprise. Very appropriate for this guy. Sonic? Chucky power! The power at last! Chucky power! Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! I was born for world domination, Chucky! Sure. Now they'll have to laugh. The comedy will be compulsory. Spontaneous hilarity will be timetabled three times per day. <sighs> Everyone will laugh until they drop. A golden age, Chucky! A golden age! Oh, Chucky, Chucky! Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! So he wanted power just because he wants to make people laugh. Then if he needs to get power from a dragon in order to make people laugh, he has failed at his job of being a jester. I wish this wasn't bubble bath, I wish it was acid bath. So let's get the cap. Because it has... A fool's cap with a golden bell. Gold in it. Four down, two to go. It's going actually a lot easier than I remembered. With a few uh, setbacks, because I couldn't remember where to go and what to do. But we talked to all the people inside, and we know that the, that the thief is in the shades. We, so we now have a reason to go to the shades. 
As you can see, he doesn't stop here anymore. Instead, we can go deeper into the shades. A lurking shadow. Ah, no, no, I, I don't really want to investigate that one. Still just a wee bit on the scary side for my tastes. Well, you're in the shade, so it's understandable. That doesn't... So it's understandable that he doesn't want to investigate a lurking shadow.